Okay, top five reasons realtors are not getting into video, even though virtually everyone is saying, hey, you need to get into video. Number one, don't know what to say. Well, what do you know about real estate? You've got to know something. You know, the, the, the pulling force here at Real Talk Real Estate Media is that nobody knows everything, but everyone knows something. Put the stuff you know into a video, make it a quick video, make it a long video, but make it a video. Press record and talk about what you know. The things you don't know about, learn them and then share them. You're just sharing, that's all you're doing. You're not creating a class video. All you're doing is putting your knowledge out there and establishing yourself as a person of knowledge that people should come and talk to about buying or selling a home. Number two. I need to lose 20 pounds before I get in front of the camera. Yeah, no, you don't. Okay. I promise you, you will not receive the phone call that says, Hey, you know, I was going to call you about buying or selling my home, but uh, it looked like you could push away from the table a few times before I start talking to you. Nobody cares. Honestly, get in front of the camera, get the video started, have fun with it, get them on YouTube and get people to look at you and call you. Establish yourself as an expert in the field and people will start to call you. Number three, I don't have fancy equipment to do video. I can't do video. Well, you know what? I'm looking around here and I see, you know what? I've got some equipment behind me here. I've been a real estate photographer, videographer for 15 or 20 years now. And you know what? I, I need a lot of this to do the production and the things that I do. But truth be told, you know, sitting here, this thing, this really awesome mic right now, it's not even turned on. You know, I've got this little mic on my lapel here on this side. And, uh, and, and that's what's hooked up to my camera, which you don't even need. You know, really, honestly, to get started the first time and the first, you know, few hundred times, you know, get in front of a camera. This thing, the cell phone, this thing that you use to make phone calls and talk to people about, uh, about showing and selling their homes. You get a little stand at five below for below five. You set that on there and suddenly you have a whole production studio right here. All you've got to do is press record and you have a video. Okay. So there really are, uh, I don't have fancy equipment is not a good excuse at this point. If you ever decide to start a YouTube channel and begin to, uh, uh, begin to make a show and create a, sh a regular show, you know what? Get a camera, get, get a ring light, get, microphones whatever but to start you don't need any of that stuff you know number four big huge one number four is I'm not experienced enough I don't know enough I'm new to the industry I'm brand new to real estate do you know something you've got to know something to sell homes what you don't know once again you can go learn call a colleague um, get online look it up Find out, talk to settlement people, talk to inspectors, talk to uh, appraisers, talk to whoever in the industry, because everyone knows something. If you don't know something, ask someone. And then for your video, make it a video short and just say, hey, I just learned this. Guess what? And share it. That's how people grow their careers. That's what we're all about at Real Talk Real Estate Media is helping people to learn and grow in their careers. We're going to bring on experts from all over the industry to, to interview and talk about what it is that they do and how that helps realtors in their careers and how we can help you use that stuff to build your careers. Um, number five, another huge one and, and one that I love, um, it's people will make fun of me because I get, you know, you get on camera for, since humanity began, people have been making fun of each other for different things, you know, and when you were a kid and, you know, somebody teased you at school, your mom always told you it's because they like you, you know, and things like that. Guess what? People are going to make fun of you regardless what you do. 
you know, when you became a realtor or decided to become a realtor, somebody somewhere, whether it be behind your back or to your face, said, oh, you're going to become a realtor. Yeah, right. That'll, that'll work real well. What they're saying is, I don't have the balls to step out and do this thing that you're doing, so I'm going to make fun of you. That way you won't do it either, and you won't be elevated above my position in life, and you won't get better than me. So if enough people make fun of you, and you say, well, I don't want to do that because people will make fun of me, then they win. Use that thing that they're doing, use that uh, bad attitude or, or, or rotten disposition they have as fuel to grow in what it is you're doing. You know what? They're going to make fun of you for the first video. Make 10. You know, when my son was about six, we went to Disney World for the first time. And, uh, and, and he had never been on a roller coaster at that point. And we walked up and we looked at, uh, at, the, at the Space Mountain and he said, I really want to get on that. So we got in line and we waited in line a little bit, a very short amount of time. And we got up and sat down in the carts for Space Mountain. And, uh, and he's smiling and happy and, and giddy and, and right up into the point where that, that, that lockdown bar popped down on him and he looked at me in sheer terror because now he's past the point of no return. And he looked at me and said, I don't think I like this. And then we felt a little as it started. And he looked at me again and he said, I don't think I like this. And it, and it started up the hill and it's pitch black all of a sudden and the strobe lights start and I can see his face. He's sheer terror. And then as we went down the first hill, his terror came to an apex and, and he looked at me and then he starts looking around and he starts to smile and it gets, it, it, it hits him that this is such a good freaking time. And, you know, and then we get through the whole thing and by the time we're done and the bar pops off and we get out, he steps over to the side and we're walking out and he says, Daddy, can we do that again? Heck yeah. Do videos like that. You're going to be terrified. Once that bar comes down the first time, you're going to be absolutely terrified. Go ahead and push through it. If you're past the point of no return, hit record. Make a video. Make it a five minute video. Make it a 30 second video. Make a video. And then share your knowledge with the people around you. Then come on Real Talk. We'll do an interview. Do a guest blog. Get out in front of people. It'll help you. It'll help you grow. It'll help your career. You get past that very first time. And after that, it becomes fun. Once you get past that first hill and the strobes start going, it just starts to be fun and you have a good time. Let's get together and help each other grow and get bigger and better. And the heck with the excuses. The heck with the fears. Let's just do it. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. And remember, no one knows everything, but everyone knows something.